clustered. There's two. No. Duh. Visibility, five bolt. And this one changes back. No. Enemy. Enemy. It's defender now. Wait, mm, I could. Yeah, let's go with defender. And then your turn. Because I suck at this, but I. Okay. Good enough. Move out, guys. I got five skills. I got. Lace rates, explosive strike, and twin fangs. Ooh, me like. I will use this one. I will use this one. Isabella looks all right. Shake that ass. <clears throat> there we go. It's better curves than in the Dragon Age one. Nope. Yeah. Hiding in the chantry and sending thugs to finish me off. Coward. He'll not get away with this. Come on. Okay. Let's look at our characters. Well. Come a bit closer, guys. Look at the characters. In the first game, both male and female looked like this. Standing there. Okay, the female got bigger boobs, but still. <laughs> okay. Bethany now has curves. See that? Curves. If you use curves in a video game when with it's a a girl or woman depends on the age you would see that it helps out a lot more because what can I say I like a girl with nice curves yeah <laughs> okay moving on uh, let's talk to her high town is so grand compared to Lothering it's hard to think we might have lived here it's pretty here at night once the nobles are out of the way, you can really admire the scenery. Hightown is the best of Kirkwall. Just ask them. Whatever. Moving on. But well, it's a nice place, don't you think? Yeah. Moving on. Hello, We've Isabella. You. Fireball right here. Behind you. Mm -hmm. you. 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 Oh. Oh. You. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anybody else? Okay, I got one. Let's see. Let's see. Aw, he died. Farewell. Moving on. We were supposed to go over here with an alive Isabella. Well, she's alive and a bit bloody, but I don't mind. <laughs> I really sound preferred while I say that. <sighs> Whatever. I know. Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo? They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head. And you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone, too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. What the hell are you talking about? Will someone explain what's going on? Isabella's been a very bad girl. Ruined a perfect business deal and then ran away. She didn't tell you? I told him enough. Somehow I doubt it. I said I arranged for a duel, which I did. I also said you wouldn't play fair, which you didn't. We can talk later if you want. Right now we have other problems. Castillon isn't a very happy person, is he? Maybe he needs a new hobby. There's only one way to settle this. Person to attack. Oh. That's Nothing. Okay, sorry about that. Um, somebody phoned, so yeah, <laughs> had to pick it up. Okay. The codex, because well, after this, it kind of like demo over. So, let's start with our own character, Gareth Hawk, the son of Malcolm Hawk and Lindra Amel. Gareth has lived in many places through Ferelden. His father and his and younger sister Bethany were apostate mages. Thus, the family was constantly on the move, avoiding Templar hunters. Ten years ago, the family settled in the village of Lothring. Building a home on the outskirts and making a living where they wouldn't forever be on the run. Through Ladre, for were it constantly that the Templars would one day catch up with them. Malcolm kept his ability secret and taught his daughter to do the same. He died three years ago, leaving Garrett responsible for the well being of his mother and younger siblings. Um. When the blight began, Gar uh, Garrett and Cover quickly enlisted in King Caelan's regiment. The horde spilling from the Cockery Fields meant their home would be quickly overrun if the Darkspawn were not defeated immediately. However, the Battle of or Osagar ended with the betrayal and death of King Caelan. Garrett and Cover barely escaped the chaos with their lives. Returning to Lothring to get their mother and Bethany out with only moments to spare. Kava Hawk. Kava grew up surrounded by magic he couldn't really understand. He cared deeply for his family but sometimes felt like the stupidest person in the room. Kava found it in Lothring caught with the gifts of his apostate sister Bethany and the growing skill of his more focused sibling, 
what even as Carver quote about this a lot. Uh, yeah, Destiny. He remained dedicated to protect those he loved. He didn't think twice about sacrificing himself to save his mother during the fly, uh, flight from the dark spawn. And a throw, Carver struggled to find his way in life. There's gratification in knowing his dad had person, uh, purpose. And not even his mother, sister, and other crap. Uh, space war, journal, level up, quick potions, and tactics, whatever. No quests completed. Fools rush in, destruction, violent, Gumlon, Amel, or some other way in Kirkwall, where we in, uh, deliver Flemeth's amulet to give her material, metery, metery, yeah. In the Dalish camp on Sumder Mount, uh, go to Gamlin's house in Lopton. Whatever, read. Back to battle. Found you. You boss. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you. Fireball. Right over here. Oh, hey, the Nora guy. Link. Buddies rip. Ooh, me likey. Well, I like the critical chance and damage, but look at the Ferelden dagger. 41, 41. Let's do fire, but that's that's well. Well, Link. You must die. Do you think you could beat me? You're dead, okay. You, you're next. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, hey, you die. I win. Stab first, ask questions later. Trust me, it's better this way. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. It's simple as that. Who is Castillon? He's a powerful merchant based in Antiva. I believe he has ties to the Felicissima Armada. I used to work for him. <laughs> the jobs mostly involved smuggling lyrium, jewels, or the occasional criminal acquaintance. He paid well. Sour about the coughing, had something in my throat. Probably a hairball. Yeah, probably. Uh, why the relic? What's so interesting about the relic? I don't really know what it is, except that it's ancient and worth my weight in gold. Castion has me chasing it down as payback for freeing his slaves. <sighs> to be honest, I think he just wants me dead. But that would be letting me off easy. Trust me. I would never want you dead. Uh, Lucky tried to find the relic? You hired Lucky to track down information on the relic. That's right. He insisted he knew everything that was going on in Kirkwall. He lied. <laughs> I bet he doesn't even know everything going on in his pants. Did you end up in Kirkwall because your ship was destroyed? There was a storm. The ship ran aground on the reefs near the city. I managed to make it to shore. Most of my men weren't as lucky. Poor sods. I knew some of those men almost ten years. Ah, oh, balls. What's this about you freeing slaves? I was asked to escort Castillon's cargo ship. 
I got a bad feeling about the job partway through. Boarded the ship to find slaves. Nearly 200. Elves, humans, children even. It was sickening. They paid Castillon to take them away from the Blight. He took their money and sold them into slavery. Even I know that's wrong. Didn't expect that, did you, Guardsmen? You stood up to Castillon before. You can do it again. Don't give him what he wants. I stood up to him once. Look where that got me. You know what they say about good intentions? Don't have them. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And mm. I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. Ooh, company. How am I so, guessing? You want to know about the champion? Well, what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew him even before he became the champion. The entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. Think like a general, fire like a Spartan. Brutal and incredible, satisfying. Bloody as hell. A great entry point to the story. Pre ordered today and deceive uh, the digital head sword. I won't get that. It's uh, from uh, 11 January. But fuck it. Uh, Dragon Age 2. Well, that was it. That's the demo. I bid you farewell, for I am Count Amkyotara. I hope you enjoyed it, so now let me suck your blood. Moa! Moa! Bye.